in one of my previous videos, uh, Basic Explanation of the Distortion of the Flat Earth Map, I explained that the deceivers took a flat earth, projected it onto a globe, drew lines of longitude and latitude on the globe, and then took that and projected it back onto a flat surface, and because the coordinates of latitude and longitude must match up with what they are on a flat earth map as they do on a globe, and because the lines of longitude and latitude were drawn on the globe, it required a distortion on the flat earth map. So the same is true with the Mercator map as it is with this North Polar Azimuth Equidistant Projection Map. The only difference is the deceivers took a flat Earth, projected it onto a globe, drew lines of longitude and latitude, and then placed that onto a cylinder and unrolled the cylinder onto a flat surface, and this created distortion in a different way. Um, I'm not going to go into the math of it because this, the it's important to understand the mathematics behind the North Polar Azimuthal Equidistant Projection Map or the, the mathematics of the distortion because it appears as though this is the flat Earth, the best outlay of a flat Earth we have. And if you can just understand the distortion, then you can understand what the real flat Earth looks like, which is not the case with the Mercator Map.